let's let's look at AJ's it. interview. Let's um, do it. I'm really Laura Woods, yeah. right? I've got to say, right, and this is one of those things that I guess people would expect to hear on this channel, but I believe I'm being quite objective. Mm -hmm. This is definitely one of the best interviews where AJ's come across in a very long time. Yeah. And yeah. I don't mean that in terms of, yeah, he's got the dog back and he's, he means business and this, not that kind of fairy tale stuff, just more on a real level of perspective. Like we're starting to see someone who is very much like, I am who I am in it. Comfortable. Yeah, I'm just... Is Incredibly what it is. comfortable. Because, like, even the question about do you still want to be undisputed, he goes, not really. He's like, why? Why is that something? He goes, well, because you start to realise that it's not going to happen. The timeline of this, that, and the happen. Da, da, da. I'm not going to hold myself to that. It's too much pressure. I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. I'm like, there's a level of realness where you can see that you've dropped all the other facades mm -hmm. that you might have bought into at one point in your yes. career. And I find it quite fascinating because it's like, this is the first time we're really seeing a calm version of a person just owning their situation. Yeah, we like we always love to analyze the AJ um, interview, right? And like, it's, it's, it's almost heritage of the pod. But yeah. then watching so many AJ interviews, I was saying this one, I definitely felt that calmness and assured. And just like... Even the things that he was saying, things that had bothered him before, where we see this bothered him before because he's mentioned it in a negative way. He says, bodybuilder, I want people to know I'm a thingy fighter. Now he's saying, listen, big man over there. That's right. You lost to a bodybuilder. That's Just right. two bodybuilders. Bodybuilders like, are up. He's almost, he's almost, <laughs> he's almost embracing yeah. the bodybuilder, which I like. I think that's, I think that is good for AJ because Absolutely. take the weapon away from him that they used to shoot at you. There Say, you listen, go. well, my body, I have got a good mm -hmm. body. And this bodybuilder knocked you down. And he's only had, that was his first professional fight. So why go on for you? That's right. You know what I'm saying? And it, what, what's happening is, it's finally realizing, I think he said, I said time, you learn a lot from yourself in time, in it, And it's clear because he's had enough time to realize this industry and everyone has to go through it, especially in industries of, celeb nature or whatever you want to call it mm. it's not real mm. it's not real the soon as the sooner you learn that yeah and realize that your friends in this industry it's not that real as well you might you be lucky to meet some real ones along the way i mean 100%. travis travis very real one i've got a couple few friends from comedy very real friends mm. friends and they know who they are because that's right, that's right. do you know what i mean but it's not real it's mm. a game. Everyone's jostling for position. Everyone's fighting. And when you have a fall, when you take when you take a drop, you find out exactly you quickly what I realize, oh wow, you were happy to see me fall. And this is this is the sign of somebody who's felt the he's felt the burn. He's felt the fire. Absolutely. And now he's sitting at the table going, That's not happening again. Yes. I'm sitting here now, I know exactly what time it is. He goes, ah da 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 da. It's all nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to start talking about this, that, and the third. I'm just here to do my thing. He goes, but this is where I like where he's starting to turn. He goes, you enjoy your run at the top. Yeah. Now you're going to see exactly what it's like. The pressure's different. That's right. And, he's, and he throws it because what was nice is um, Fury's been doing this for a long time. He's been golden what, um, AJ forever. Nigeria gum shield, like loads of stuff he's been doing. And he's been always mentions him in a thingy way. But finally, what I was getting from AJ, even if it's like light psychological games and stuff, it's putting the pressure back on him. Well, I right. did it. I've had um, right. 12 title fights. You already seen that. He didn't even have a title fight. He's he's what he just had, got, he's he like four. Three, four now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant. G great work. These are these are the shots. These are subtle shots. And what I like most is the fact that, because Eddie, anytime I wanted to hear from AJ, I had to listen to Eddie. Now I'm hearing direct from AJ. That's real. I know That's exactly real. like, I know where he's at. I know how he feels about certain things. You know what I mean? And now it's like, I've almost, we've colored in the picture and I've got a better understanding of this person. Even I saw him doing, talking to Spencer. I watched that one recently as well. And it's talking about, you know, the thing about being real. If yeah. you're real or not. I like, I, I enjoyed that. Even I, though it's different. I found that interesting, that one. I, I, like the, I like the fact that he said, listen, at the end of the day, he's chosen He's chosen a path from I've seen how I could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I wanted yeah. to do something else. Do you know what I mean? It's like I decided I respect I think I think the 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 the, the perspective that I battle with when it when I hear that evaluation is I respect the, what you tried to do. I believe your heart was in the right place in terms of I know I'm from this background, 
but I'm trying to portray a better representation yeah. Yeah. because of the impact of that. That's going to be more like positive, yeah. right? The heart is in the right place. But I think where people's mind boggles is you're a heavyweight champ though. You don't actually have you to. You don't have, and that's that's you, where the whole, yeah, that's you, what I was with you. Cause I was going to say, I'm on the train, but you know, when it diverts, they're like, we, we right. jump on a different track because right. in only in boxing where they don't have to be a you certain, have to they're the that. only ones where they don't have to conform to what society's on. You could be a vagabond, bro. As long as you don't lose that belt, we still got to keep showing up. Yeah, you know I mean, and I think that where it's one of those ones where it's like you could have, and this is the this is the part of where society, and this is where the convo gets wider in society, because you know, being young black entertainers coming up, there is that thing of if you want to go mainstream, palatable, you got to be palatable, you got to talk a certain way. Now, for sports athletes, you got to look at your Frank Brunos, and you look at how Chris Eubank Senior handled things, and you look at all different football players and how certain. They portrayed themselves to be in different ways. You hear Ian Wright talk about things, how he stayed away from certain types of media conversations because that was the advice at the time. And, you know, some of these guys have regret down the line. And you start thinking, yeah, because in those moments, you didn't get to be yourself. You you chose to opt in to what they told you you needed to do as a man mm -hmm. from your background mm -hmm. to make sure you can exist in this space. Now, you look at modern world that we're in, and it's one of the ones we we're looking at him now from a different era of different generation and saying, you don't have to do that, bro. Yeah. Bro, you, you've got the belts, bro. Talk how you want to talk, bro. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. don't mean do road and be like negative. No, bro, speak how you want to speak. Genuinely yeah. from a place. Yeah. We can connect with that version. We have platforms like this. Now. This is what I'm saying. And I think where that world in the last 15 years or whatnot, there was a crossfader. Mm -hmm. Where our culture, as we grew up, as the, our generation, we said, we're not doing that anymore. Get that code switching stuff the hell yeah, out of here. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can talk to you like this and yeah. you can see I'm an intelligent man. I ain't got yeah, to speak yeah, 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 yeah. for you to get it. So now AJ was in the crossfader. He was a star in that time. And remember, as first gen remember he's like going to be first generation because his parents that's are. That's right. It's not like the Jamaica, the West Indian exactly journey. Exactly that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, his p upbringing would tell him, Whoa, whoa, whoa. When you're in front of TV, you, you know what I mean? You speak like this. Whereas, you know, the culture around him is going, yo, AJ, come on, bro. Talk the things, bro. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to do road and be doing a bad man criminality. No, just be yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think where he, the, the things changed around him whilst he was in his moment, now it's like, okay, the noise has stopped. Everything's aside. You felt a kick from society. You, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Now you're sitting there thinking, I can just talk. Now we're hearing an AJ that we would have heard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? And I'm like, it's actually okay. It's okay. Because if, if he gets a belt again, he ain't going to sound like that, AJ. Never. <laughs> never. You know, he needs, like, even it's just being comfortable saying, listen, I had a moment in the ring in it. I let out some emotion. It was, the thing was what it was at that time. We've all Good. been there. We've all been there. You know what I mean? And it was like, it was surprising because like, why were you not surprised by that? Mm. It's because you don't do that. You know what I mean? We've never seen... Um, that chink in the armor. He said, "Raw, was that that good at the time that it was? Yeah, it was. There was nothing. There was nothing wrong with the brand. It was like it's like you know how you, if you've been drinking Coca Cola for a long time, you don't expect it to taste different. You might go to another country and it might have a bit more, yeah. but it's still Coca Cola. <laughs> they still got sugar. You know what I'm there. saying is <laughs> a day that Coca Cola is not how it like. What's going on? You will even say this ain't even real Coke. We got that. You know, you'll, be like, that you'll look at the you will look at the content and say something's wrong with this because yeah, yeah. this is not the brand I know. You've changed it. You know what I mean? You lot have messed this up. Someone has messed this up. I know this is not to do Coca Cola. You know what I mean? That's the how sure you are in the brand. There was a chink in the armor and you realize everything about everyone. And that was the probably one of the best things that's probably happened for my men. 100%. In the end, in the, end, in the long term, it's the best thing that happened. I like the fact that when he's talking about Wallin in this fight, just to get to boxing, oh, that was hilarious. he says, listen, I'll be able to... I'm going to be able to land some certain shots. He's Even like, the fact that he says, like, I've, shared, I've shared rounds with Usyk. 24. 24 rounds. These men <laughs> want to talk to me. He's like, he goes, what are you looking for to most? He's like, oh, the shots I'm going to land. <laughs> That's fire. I said, yeah. I'm, this I'm here. This, this, version of, this version of AJ, and I'm just talking about AJ that's had time yeah. to relax and really understand where he's at mentally. And also, another thing that you kind of realize as well, and this is like something I've, I've, you, you kind of just clock if you just look at the picture, the entourage is different. The entourage has changed. 
they used to be a real entourage. Yeah. Like I'm, I'll never forget the picture. I think it's a um, in a lead up to the fight against Klitschko, Everywhere. and he's walking down the shopping center. I think to the way in, Everywhere. and our team is just it's everyone. like a football squad, fam. Yeah, everyone. The, 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 the stay humble t-shirts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone. Now it's like in the gym. The it's you and the trainer. You sitting down. Oh, it's you and a couple men, and that. Obviously not a slight to the entourage, but anytime there's that much noise going on, it's really positive. One thing though that we do have to mention though, Ben Davison. Is yeah. this real? Is this is this is this I'm not buying Is it like a I was in the gym by myself and I just wanted someone to show me what I'm to do? I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that. Like this feels like Cause I know Eubank Junior saying it could never be me. I know what to do. Yeah, <laughs> you know Eubank Junior's in he's the like, gym saying you need like, someone to tell you to do. Junior, man, I could just another pair of eyes in the workout. <laughs> Smolder, fifty percent, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, I'm looking at. It, I'm like, I don't, I don't buy any of this talk. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's one of the ones I'm like, bro, train. Which trainer is just gonna let your fighter just go over there for a couple? Why? Why would that be an arrangement that I want? We're supposed to be building on the work that we do fight by fight. What? what why would that training camp not be important to me? It can't, it's, it's insane. Because so we're learning in every fight. In every moment, we're learning. Exactly. Same. So I look at that and I think to myself, no, this is just what we call a soft launch. Mm. <laughs> you know when we, you know when girls talk about soft launch and they're posting their man on their page? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The ankle on the foot. Yeah, it's just the ankle on the foot of Ben not Davis. the ankle. <laughs> <laughs> the little hand of the wrist. The wrist. Why is he driving? Yeah, 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 yeah. Soft launch, fam. Soft so launch. You, you know what, though? But he's it, got the receipt just in case things don't look great. So he can go, so hey, got the money back guarantee. Forget what I said, fam. It's, yeah, the ahead. money back guarantee. That's interesting, though. Um, I'm, I don't know how I feel about... I don't know how I feel about Ben Davidson. And not, not that I dislike him or nothing like that, but I remember how nervous he was in the corner of Fury when they were Wilder, like, in, it. in the in the Wilder fight. And if our road is to Wilder, but when I listen to AJ speak, he kind of speaks about being three times champion. So it doesn't sound like we're getting in that Wilder direction, well, even though the date is set. If we follow the rumor, the date is set, but it's okay. a rumor, it's a rumor. It's a rumor. I and mean, we've seen rumors in boxing that have been purely that mm. rumor. We made it up, mm -hmm. yeah? So I feel that AJ, how he's talking, he's talking that kind of, I'm going to try and win the um was it WBO? I, I B F, I believe. Yeah, I'm getting I'm trying to win that belt, right? So he's he's expecting like someone to get stripped of the title or something. So and they're gonna be locked in. Them two are gonna be locked into a fight. If they say AJ, title fight is here. Mm. He's getting for it. Mm. give it if it's a her, whoever it is, Me. he's gonna probably go in that direction. Yeah, it's a madness, isn't it? But then if he let's say he doesn't go that way. Now you're telling me that someone, you're going to be in a corner and you're going to have someone that's going to be feeling nervous or maybe he won't but feel nervous because he's with AJ yeah. and you have a different, different with fighter. Fury, because he's saying- Even when AJ talks about matching up against Fury, he's like, how would it match up? He goes, oh, I'm too strong. I'm too explosive. He goes, you ain't going to be able to lean on me. You ain't going to be able to bully me. You ain't going to be able to do none of that stuff. I'm going to knock, I'll knock him out or they didn't say I'll knock him out, but I'll hurt him or I'll win. Uh, yeah, he said, yeah. It's one of the ones, especially watching the Ngannou fight, you, to give confidence. you watch that and you think, okay, I see it now. Had to give confidence. You see what I'm saying? I see it now. Because that's how Ngannou was dangerous. Yeah, that's exactly it. Exactly it. Now, obviously, I don't necessarily think that AJ has the same attributes as far as, you know, the inside work and the grappling and stuff like that. But there is an element of that where there is a similarity where it's like, I am too explosive. You're not going to be able to just push me around. Like, that's not going to work mm -hmm. like that. So it was quite interesting to hear him describe it like that. Mm. So I'm just like, yeah, now nah, he's locked in and I think he's... I think he's ready for these things. I think an AJ like this makes these guys a little bit more uncomfortable than the previous, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? like this AJ. Almost like I know what's going on in the room. It's always good when you can see someone. Like, I think it's like a quiet confidence. Yeah. Because it's unnerving. It's like raw, like, what's up for you? You yeah. know what I mean? I had, to, I had to almost knock you off your pivot because That's right. I'm feeling uncomfortable with how you're sitting You're in too space. chilled. You're too chilled. Like, are you raw? Like, even when he met goes... <laughs> <laughs> this is making me laugh. It goes one word to describe uh, Deontay Wilder. He goes bronze. Man Laura says, wasn't ready for the Dunder Marco. Yeah, she weren't ready for the Dunder Marco. Marco double Man said, he's never first place. I said.
He's not gold. Bars. He's not gold. That's crazy. Even this is the time when his friend should be in the car going, Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the perfect moment, bro. And he's not here for that, bro. Yeah. He should have walked into the interview and I would have respected it, fam. <laughs> nah. Um, no, nah, but shout out. Listen, shout out AJ. Not sure about this um, Ben Davison thing, but we'll see what that we'll looks see like. We'll see what happens. Though. All I need to do is see in it. Like at the moment, I'm like, let's go. Yo, people, thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be.